This is the Yucatan Peninsula. It is about 200 miles across, separating the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. It's almost completely flat and doesn't appear to be extraordinarily interesting. But unbelievably, this area here could well be the most ripe place on the planet for exploration. All of that, though, happens below the ground. Beneath the jungle floor lies a honeycomb of subterranean caverns, which are filled with water, known as cenotes. I'm diving with cave dive expert Bernadette Carrion. What an incredible place! Wow! The caverns are just so vast! This is just remarkably beautiful. Such a fragile environment. Are those stalactites? Oh, it's beautiful! It's all done by dripping of water. Unbelievable, yeah? It's not what you expect to see with fish swimming around it. But these stunning wonders of nature are under threat. Right on their doorstep is the fastest growing tourist hotspot in the world. People come here in their millions to stay in luxury hotels that are sited right on top of the underground cave system. And I get my first taste of the effects of this mass tourism as we make our way into the jungle. It turns out that the best way for us to get into the forest is through the town dump. It's kind of a vision of hell. But, you know, everywhere has to get rid of their rubbish somehow. But here, outside of Tulum, in the Yucatan, because of what we know about the geology here, it's kind of got much more impact. Loads of pollutants are going down into the cave systems and the fresh water that's flowing through them is the same fresh water that the people here and the animals completely rely on. It's a shocking discovery. And worryingly, beneath this rubbish dump lies a fragile world. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I think in the 21st century, we all have a tendency to think that all the great explorers were generations ago, but that's not true. There are still places like this that are spectacular, magnificent. It completely blows my mind to think that below so much of the Yucatan are rooms like this, as yet never seen by human beings. These caves extend for hundreds of kilometers, and in land, it's estimated only 1% have been explored. This could be the greatest place for exploration for my kids and my grandkids and their kids. There is more potential here than I can even get my head around. It's horrifying to think that such pristine water could be under threat from increased tourism. You see these wonderful caves, the water that runs through it, that everybody here relies on. And at the same time, you see the rubbish and the development above that's just dripping straight down into that precious water. This is somewhere that, if we're not careful, could be destroyed before it's even close to being explored. We must do everything we can to make sure that these extraordinary cenotes are here for the next generation.